So a couple of you have messaged me and asked me this question of how if I train Casper to go in his bag without having to be put in the bag, he, he will go into it by himself. So what I did to start with, the bag is always out. I don't get the bag out when we're going to go somewhere because that's the first mistake people make is they'll get the bag out when they're going somewhere. So it's always available for him to investigate. He's got some tasty treats in there. So... It's all at his own pace. He goes in there when he feels like he wants to investigate it. Um, this is how we start off. So he's gone in there. I'm not going to rush behind him and shut the door. I'm just going to let him investigate at, at his own pace. And then I'm just going to reward him again once he's fully in there. And again, I'm still not going to shut the door. He's just going to investigate it. And how you would progress this as a, to a cue for him to go in the bag is you'd start, you'd throw the food into the bag. So eventually the action of your hand going towards the bag is their cue to get in the bag. And you can see he's just really chilled in there now. And because the bag is always out, he often will just go and hang out in it and take his chews in there. It's just a really happy place for him.